Okay, so our heroes are currently fighting a, a cavalcade of, of murderous uh, sentient instruments for one reason or another. Um, and they're, they're, they're pretty tough, to be honest. They're having a rough time. Our, 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 our intrepid heroes are, are struggling against, against the, uh, the, uh, the little, uh, against, uh, the, 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 the creature. Whatever. I, I can't, I, I got nothing. Um, Jealous Bass plays, a, I think, that I think I, this is the bit I was at, yeah, because they just said Beaten Drum received 173 of damage. Jealous Bass plays a solo bass session attack. Lucas receives 75 of damage. Lucario uses PK Fire Alpha. Gently sweeping guitar receives 78. Ah, fuck. 78 of damage. So, oh, the... Uh, so, <laughs> that doesn't matter. He's going to have one line. Was it matter? Oh, the agony. The guitar muttered as it looked down. Gently sweeping guitar was destroyed. Jealous Bass receives 60 of damage. Beaten Drum receives 63 of damage. Um... Uh, hmm, the drum began. There better be a heaven for beaten drums like me, because I don't want to go to nowhere and... Go away then, the bass yelled. Go to hell, the drum muttered. Destroyed drum was destroyed. Ha ha! Nana attacks. Jealous bass receives two hits, 54 of damage. Jealous bass plays a strange music. Um, jealous bass's... Uh, strength goes up. Um, macho. Jealous bass. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I, I won't make that noise again. Jealous bass yelled loudly. Uh oh, Lucas muttered. Ah, uh, Lucas, why would you get scared by a bass? Nana asked. Jello, jealous bass uh, plays. A ja solo jam session attack. Popo receives fatal damage of 90. Oh fuck, Popo straight up got killed. Shit. <laughs> Bleh! Popo groaned. Boney attacks. Boney misses. Um. Uh. Uh. Boney whined, disappointed. Um. Lucas tried PK Life Up Alpha. Popo recovers 67 HP. I don't think Aura Channel Chris knows what the word fatal means. Do you think you can save dead people? Popo asked. I... I don't know, Luca said unsure. You just fucking did. Chris attacks. Jealous Bass receives three hits, 59 of damage. Lucario attacks. Smash! Uh, Jealous Bass receives 349 of damage. Okay. Damn that thing, Nana yelled angrily. Lucario here would have pretty much defeated it with a hit. Nana, Lucario isn't exactly and godlike character, Chris pointed out. Okay, what? He's he's pretty tough, let's face it. Also, you're, you're isn't and what oh no, sorry, no, isn't exactly and god whatever. Um Well it would have been good though. Um Um Let's see. Uh, Popo attacks. Jealous Bass receives 39 of damage. Nana attacks. Smash! Jealous Bass receives 7 hits, 98 of damage. And die for once! Nana. For once! Nana threatened. No. Jealous Bass yelled as he backed away. No, 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 no. Is this the end for an innocent Bass like me? Yes, everyone said with bored. I hate you all. Jealous base was destroyed to pieces. You won! Lucas and company earned 1,352 experience points. Oh boy! Look at this shit! Okay, no, only two. In fairness, okay. I only have to do this twice. Thank goodness. I was worried they were, they were all going to level up. That would be annoying. Popo's level goes up by 21. Booyah! Popo said, somewhat bored. Apparently, apparently he changed voices in the meantime. Booyah! Popo said somewhat bored. HP goes up by 5. PP goes up by 1. Strength goes up by 3. Defense goes up by 4. Right on! Guts goes up by 7. Speed goes... What about Casca? I already made that joke. It wasn't funny. Speed goes up by 2. Evasion goes up 4. Uh, Nana's level goes up by 21. 
All right? Ask Nana. HP goes up by four. PP goes up by one. Strength goes up by four. Defense goes up by five. Guts goes up by three. What about Griffith? Haha. -ha. Speed goes up by two. Right on. Evasion goes up six. You know, I think I kind of felt sorry for the instrument. Nana said. Nana, you were feeling sorry for an inanimate object? Chris asked. He fucking spoke. He wasn't inanimate. He w he won't know inanimate object. He could he could speak. He could talk. He could fight. He could beat you up. He could he could win. He didn't, but he could have hypothetically. Um, he he killed fucking Popo. <laughs> uh, um, that object was jealous. I mean, ugh, this world really sucks without logic. The group walked forward and looked down the vent. They were all able to find all the band. They were all. They all were able to find all the band and Kumatora inside the room. So music, OJ began. What do you do to pay taxes? Hear him! Kumatora coughed. Oops, sorry. Um. Okay, those guys should have arrived here by now, Kumatora said. But what the hell is taking them so long? They better not have been fighting in the attic, because that would be the stupidest thing I could ever hear. You walk through a tunnel where fucking slugs attack. It's not that ridiculous, is it? Um, the group in the attic had confused looks before they all decided to jump down. Club Titty Boo. DCMC's room. Earthbound. Happy Happiest. Music. Fuck you! Lucas and company landed in the center of the room. The band and Kumatora turned to them as Lucas stood up. We, we're here, Lucas said. S sorry for coming late, but we will fight. I mean, going through a maze of pipes up there. Oh, pretty understandable, the Kumatora said. Okay, these are the guys who I've been telling you about. Why do they need to go through the fucking vent? Why couldn't Kumatora just take them in through the entrance? Why couldn't she just say, hey, I have some people who want to meet you? If the band were okay with it, with, with, with these people turning up, if they're not just springing the surprise on them, then what's the big fucking deal? Why didn't they just come through the main entrance? Whatever. Oh, pretty understandable, Kumatora said. Okay, these are the guys who I've been telling you about. Um. Tondagosa, greeted Lucky. Who are you? He's your acquaintance I was talking about earlier, Duster, Kumatora said. Uh, um, Lucas looked unsure as he played with his fingers. D don't you remember your real name? He asked. Duster, Lucky wondered. I'll admit, I don't remember my real name. But I've lived as Lucky for a number of years now, he stated. Ellipsis, Lucas looked down. Then, he maybe forgot all of his memories, Lucario muttered. We've been through this. Yes, he did. Big deal. People do that. Amnesia and shit. Whatever. Okay. Okay, I understand, Mr. Lucky. Sorry, but can you explain again what you remember for him? Kumatora asked. I'm sure you have some fragments of your memory in there. All right, I know that it's a very important time right now. Lucky cleared his throat before he started to narrate. Before I came to Club Titty Boo, I lost any memory of myself. I didn't know who I was, where I came from, and where I was going. But, for some reason, I was carrying a very important looking egg. Without knowing where to go, I kept on wandering around. All I knew was that the egg seemed very important. I had to protect it at all costs. I looked for a hiding place. I kept on walking and walking until I hid it in a lump of clay in a valley where no one would look. I still remember that hiding point spot, sorry. It's at the top of a cliff near a waterfall. Then, a scene showed a huge yellow tower, firing lightning at Tasmili Village. Lucas blinked in curiosity at the narration. At the narration? Oh, fuck. So what, they're aware that they're playing a game? What are the rules of this place? Are there any rules? Do there have to be? I don't know, you know, writing outside the box is fun and all, but like... I don't know. Maybe this is accepted reality in this world. That that shit just kind of happens that, that can't really be explained. That people have sort of mass hallucinations or visions or whatever. I don't know. 
I'm fucking hungry. I'm gonna go and get a sandwich. I'll finish this shit later.